we also publish our own magazine known as the health it's a bi monthly magazine and we also organize conferences workshops uh, in house jointly with various organizations like um, ministry of health abu dhabi health authority also jointly with the reputed institutions like mayo clinic harvard or hamburg we plan to do one with the, the ayurvedic uh, universities of india also these are some of our clinical training facilities we have our own gmc hospital najman is the first teaching hospital in the country it's 250 bedded apart from that we have tie ups now with the ministry of health hospital all hospitals are opened up to us we have a tie up with mufarak hospital in abu dhabi and iranian hospital in dubai total uh, bed strength available for uh, our students uh, rotation is around 2000 beds our convocation our graduation days first second third we have one coming up on the 23rd of this month normally the his sinus ruler of ajman the minister of health attend all the graduations this gmc alumni they are doing very well spread around the world mainly in the us and we have solid uh, inter institutional cooperation with the ministry of health uh, medical schools hospitals and uh, we cooperate in cme programs in the medical education unit they come in as external examiners and also curriculum reforms <laughs> we have now made a strategic plan known as the gmu strategic plan 2020 where we are going to introduce several programs in the next 10 years including new bachelor program master associate program in allied health science residency program and e learning programs this is a picture of the camp the accommodation the students are is being built in the campus now right now we are in a position now we are stabilized after a long struggle and now we are planning to expand we have almost 2500 applications for the medical school so we need to have more campuses we are exploring possibility of establishing a branch in a place called johor bahru in malaysia we also have opportunities coming up in nigeria and other countries but we have several invitations including serious invitations from iran libya morocco and also we are dreaming of coming back to our home our country india we also now expanding regarding our uh, gmc hospital chain we have opened the first hospital in africa in a place called malawi the second one is coming up in malawi but we are dreaming of having at least 15 hospitals in the next 5 to 7 years and having a global uh, presence in both the medical education and healthcare this is a paper cutting which appeared in the local newspaper known as gulf news the leading newspaper in the country the the paper conducted a survey during the national day they call it the national day and they asked the readers to identify some symbols of pride of the country and uh, we were surprised to find our picture as one of the symbols of pride of uae so we have these are some insights of our and highlights of our institution we have students from 52 countries we have summer training programs in various countries we have short term certificate program blended in learning format to cater to middle east and north africa faculty and staff from 14 nations around the world this is a pictures of our gmc hospital in najman inaugurated in 2002 we have our mission it is a 250 bedded uh, first university hospital in the country all departments part of it's a teaching hospital and uh, the it, uae as you know is a very thinly populated country the place i come from ajman has got only 500000 population so to make it a success we tried a new business model where uh, we wanted it to succeed for two reasons it's a teaching hospital we wanted patients to come in and uh, many people felt that 250 bed hospital in ajman was too big for the country but what we did was we marketed it well we had several camps free camps jointly with indian association pakistani association various associations and also we subsidized our price our price is one of the cheapest like you spoke of the 
business model of Narayan Ridhalaya and uh, Arvind Hai, similar setup, we succeeded. And we have one more deadly combination of education also. We have training within the hospital. So we succeeded and we are repeating this everywhere we go. Our prices are cheap, our quality of service is excellent. Our doctors are not only doctors, they are also teachers. And we have several training programs within the hospital. These are some real pictures of the hospital we have. We are the, one of the largest teaching hospitals. I mean, in terms of Indian numbers, this sounds small, but in terms of UAE, you are the biggest. And in two years' time, we will be the biggest uh, healthcare provider in the country, in the private sector. Some of the recognition, it is uh, recognized by the UK, I mean, it is accredited by the UK Trent. Uh, it's called QHA Trent Accreditation from UK. Some pictures of the hospital. We have our own uh, chain of laboratories now, four of them. This is a simulation center in the hospital. Our own chain of pharmacy, own chain of optical shops. A hospital in uh, Fujairah, about 70 bedded hospital. Hospital in Malawi, GMC Hospital in Malawi. So we have patients, this is an old slide. They say patients from 119, but we have more than 119 countries. In fact, we were the first to introduce medical tourism in a very organized way. And we have lots of patients coming, a huge department taking care of the medical tourism guests coming from Nigeria, from Afghanistan, from Iran, from Sudan. These are some of the countries from where the patients are coming. And we have a telemedicine facility both at all our hospitals. This is a new hospital coming up in the campus, a 300-bedded hospital. The first private, uh, some of our achievements, the first private medical uh, teaching hospital in the country, students from 52 countries. Our curriculum is very unique. It's known as the organ-based integrated system, summer training pro program, highly advanced state-of-art uh, medical simulation centers. Yeah, we have done. I would like to conclude, you know, the, I have been invited here because ours is a success story and I'm originally from India. I want to conclude that now we are dreaming of establishing and going global, spreading out in other countries. We even plan to come to India. We are looking for partners, equity shareholders. And we are also having a very ambitious plan in the UAE. The government has uh, now given me a green signal to start a medical city in our region. But the problem in UAE is UAE real estate is in a very bad shape. But the sheikhs feel you can bring in companies from India, you can bring in companies from China. It's a free zone status, affordable, and it's a tax-free area. So again, I'm looking for partners, people to support us. Anyone interested in joining us in any area of interest are most welcome. Thank you very much.